Oh, hi there. I'm acting like you took me by surprise. But it's just as well that you did, because I thought I would like to show you this dusty little boy. So, while I was working on my Bagnall shunter, uh, pictured here, do 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 do, man David Lean I am not, um, it occurred to me that I had another cheapo industrial diesel shunter. And I have dug it out and I am cleaning it up. Now this is an engine that loads of people have. This is the Lima Plymouth shunter. It's actually based on an American prototype. Uh, they produced it in a number of different companies' liveries um, for different countries. Uh, this one was originally in British Rail Blue. Um, here is an example of one that's in BR Green. Now, they are very much a uh, toy loco. Um, just give me a sec, I'll open it up. So here's the inside of that green boy. Uh, it's about as basic as you can get. It's a plastic chassis, a can motor. It just sort of slides on like that. Um, and you can get these things typically really cheap. We're talking seven or eight quid. Um, I actually got this one for a fiver and it still runs just about. I mean, it growls a lot, but it still runs. And um, as you can see, I've repainted it. I have weathered it a bit. Not all of this is just regular dust. Having been repainted and weathered, it's actually not a bad match for the Hornby Bagnell size-wise, which is interesting because it's technically to a completely different scale. Let me explain. Where I am sitting now in southwest London, I'm a couple of miles away from where HO scale was invented. HO scale was devised by Wimbledon Model Railway Club. Uh, at the time, it was the smallest model railway scale available. It's now the most popular scale in the world. It's 187th full size, 3.5 millimeters to the foot. And that's a very complicated set of measurements. It's just model, model railway enthusiasts like to make things complicated for themselves, I guess. Now, this was fine if you were making models of American or European trains, which tended to be larger than British ones. When it came to British trains, the motor technology of the time was not hugely sophisticated. You could not fit a 1920s electric motor in a scale model of a British locomotive in HO. So what happened was manufacturers cheated a bit. They invented double O, which is four millimeters to the foot, 176th full size. And that means that you have this weird sort of thing in, in uh, Britain where double O scale is far and away the most popular but HO is the most popular everywhere else, whereas HO in Britain is hardly ever used unless you're modelling overseas prototypes. One of the curious side effects of this whole two scales thing is that double O and HO run on the same track, and what this means is that double O scale is a bit of a compromise in terms of in terms of width and this means that there will always be certain detail inaccuracies. There's all sorts of arguments about what should be done. Um, some favour 
a wider, more to scale track like EM or P4. And some say that we should all just go over to HO like the rest of the world. Honestly, it's, it's Brexit all over again. What should be done has resulted in many, many arguments over the years. Maybe a few knife fights, certainly some strongly worded letters to the railway modeller. The general consensus seems to be, though, that double O is just too firmly entrenched to be dethroned any time soon. The ultimate question has to be, does any of this scale gauge rigmarole really matter here? Well, some would say yes. The stricter modeler would point out that this is an underscale model by double O standards. It's an American prototype. It was never seen in Britain. On top of that, it's quite a crude model. If you're going to be less strict about it, it's an inexpensive model. It's about the right size, even if it isn't strictly to scale. And even though it doesn't technically resemble anything that ran in Britain, it's quite a neat little freelance shunter. Ultimately, what it comes down to is how much does it matter to you? It's your railway. Do what you like.